Hi, I'm Charlie Griffin, and I'm very happy today to read to you Indy and Jenny. It is the true story of a dog who beat the odds, inspired a city, and found his best friend. Uh, it was illustrated by Rebecca Sampson, who is a British illustrator and is very talented. We will see for a while, the story is going to go back and forth between Indy and Jenny, and we're going to see how the two of them came together eventually and what happened from there. So let's go. July 4th, a video security camera recorded a man in a white truck. He dumped a bundle wrapped in a dirty blanket on the ground. July 4th, earlier that day, brand new to the big city, Jenny left her old home behind. She wasn't sure what kind of new life she hoped for, but she hoped to find happiness here. A woman passing by saw the bundle and knew that something was very wrong. There was a wounded dog inside it. She called Animal Rescue and held him as they waited for help to arrive. Jenny knew only two people in the big city, her older brother and his wife. They invited her to live with them and helped her move her things into their apartment. A veterinarian wanted to help, but the dog was so badly burned all over that he didn't know how to. The animal rescue team thought the dog might not survive, so they gave him pen medication to help him sleep. That night, while her brother and sister-in-law went out to watch the big city fireworks, Jenny stayed home to calm her brother's dog, who was always very upset by the sound of firecrackers. The woman who discovered the wounded dog begged the animal rescue team to let her make a video about him. She hoped there might be someone out there who could help in this very special case. The video became big news. Jenny still hadn't found any friends. She spent most of her days alone. Everywhere she looked, no one seemed to need her. A famous burn surgeon saw the video on the television news and volunteered to help. Meanwhile, Jenny searched for job openings on the internet, hoping to find something new that might make her happy. Maybe something with animals? The surgeons and technicians worked for many weeks to save the struggling dog. He had surgeries, physical therapy sessions, and later, obedience training. He started to get strong and feel better. And he was finally given a name. Today was a big day for Jenny. After many weeks of looking, she finally got a job offer and was nervous, but excited to begin. Indy, Jenny said, laughing. Stay still. They named him Indy for Independence Day, and he and Jenny became fast friends. In fact, Indy was Jenny's first new friend in town. Every day, Jenny ate her lunch while watching Indy frolic in the dog run. Go, Indy, she'd say between bites of her sandwich and Indy would show off for Jenny how fast he could run. Indy always cooperated with Jenny whenever he needed his shots. Oh, what a good boy you are, Indy. Meanwhile, after months of detective work, the police arrested the man with the white truck. Indy became an even bigger news story than before. People came from all over to show their support and love for Indy. Some were so inspired by Indy's story that they donated money to the animal hospital, which was good, but it was also disruptive. Indy did not enjoy the extra attention. Many people offered to adopt Indy, but he cried whenever he was separated from Jenny. 
the man who hurt Indy was found guilty at his trial. As Jenny sat in the courtroom, she had an idea. Jenny filled out an application to adopt Indy and it was approved. And Indy couldn't stop giving Jenny wet, happy kisses. His tail wagged the fastest it ever wagged in his whole life. Jenny realized that finding Indy was why she moved to the big city all along. He was her happiness, and she was his. Now it was time for them to go back home together. This is a picture of the real Indy and Jenny. And this is a picture of me, and this is a picture of Rebecca Sampson. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I hope you enjoy the conversation you're going to have about it. Thanks for listening.